Bath Church, uh, we are grateful to God. I like to take this moment before we do the child dedication to. I know you received this small flyer, isn't it? I hope that you know what you are supposed to do. This is an alert that the gospel campaign we have talked about is here with us. And this is a unique one. The site is you. You bring your person here in church. Now all our guests are ready to be here with us. So it's just my, you are my reminder that this is an affesting time. So please bring your friend, the one you want to go to heaven with, to be here with us. We will climax that campaign with a major baptism. And I know there are those who are in the baptismal class. So that day on November 9 will be our last baptism for this year. So please uh, make sure that you get ready for that day. The other point I want to emphasize is December tare 7 is a big day for us while we get funds to complete the phase one of our work. Allow me to bring someone who has not been here for a long time and is one of the leaders at the conference, the one who represents all of us at the executive committee. She is here with us, uh, Sister Lois Ngenye. Please, I want to give you a moment to greet this congregation. I know you have not been here in this tent. Uh, those, this is a new church for you, totally new people, new environment. This is where we came after we relocated from our normal church. And at our normal church is a big construction going on there. We hope in two years we are going to complete uh, that sanctuary to the glory of God. So Lois represents the members at the executive committee of the conference. And when she called that she was around, I was happy to receive her this morning. So karibu sana, tusalimie. And then after that greeting, we'll have the children dedication shortly. And then the program will continue uninterrupted. Karibu uh, sana. You have your uh, at most four minutes. Karibu sana. Happy Sabbath, members. Amen. Happy Sabbath again. Amen. For me, this is home. And it looks like I had run away from home. Having been once uh, part of the same district, which was Parkland's district, I'm a member of Siloam SDA Church, and we thank God because now Siloam is a district and Parklands is a district on its own. I want to bring you greetings of where I was last Sabbath. I was in Udaya where we were closing a crusade for drug awareness, and they told me when I, where I will stop next to pass my greetings. Do you receive those greetings? Before that, I was in Budibunji, that is the border of Uganda and Congo, where we were holding a revival week, and they also sent their greetings. Before that, I was actually having a women's congress in Kasese, and before the week before that, I was in a camp meeting in Fort Porto, and they all gave their greetings. Do you receive those greetings? Just before that, I had just finished a crusade in Ethiopia, Western Ethiopia, Gambela, and they also pass their greetings. Do you receive their greetings? Okay, having covered that and passed the greetings, I would just want to tell you two major things. And the two major things, and then there's a third one I have picked while I was seated here. The two major items I just want to emphasize this morning from the conference, bringing you, by the way, greetings from the conference. And um, is one, we are emphasizing a lot on children being nurtured to accept God, to commit their lives to God, and to make a decision to serve God. And out of this, we are, when we read Ellen G. White, the book of Ellen G. White, and also the church manual, it does not give an age restriction but Ellen G. White uh, does mention and say, if children between the ages of 8 and 12 are nurtured properly and they are able to commit their lives to God, it is helpful for them as they move forward that they can be able to serve God. 
And therefore, we are really emphasizing there is a whole curriculum that has been developed for children who want to know more about God, and they are put in a class differently from the adults' baptismal class. They have their own baptismal class, 8 and above, and we are saying between 8 and 13, where they are taught about the fundamental beliefs, where they are taken through the church um, doctrine, and they have an opportunity to be able to commit their lives to God. And this is not the end because even after baptism, it is, a it is the responsibility of each and every member to help nurture these young ones to be able to live and to serve God. So this is something I want to pass to the children department. The, we have a curriculum, it's all set. Please reach out uh, to the CKC children's department for that curriculum. And it would be nice also for this church, as all the other churches are doing, nurturing these young ones. So by the time they are going to high school, they are leaving home. They have made a commitment to God and continue to serve God. Can I hear an amen? amen. We are trying to nurture our children. Can I hear an amen? amen? Please, these are our children and we want them to grow knowing God, committing their lives to God. I want to hear a better amen. Amen? amen. Thank you. Number two, my two minutes are over. I'm in my minute number three. I was given four minutes. Then my minute number three, we have also realized there's a lot of time that is spent on announcements. I came in when the announcements were being done. And we are encouraging churches that we go back to the old time religion. The old time religion. I can see a wife of my classmate in the audience, Tabitha. And Tabitha, those that were in church at the, uh, the years of the 70s, 60s, and early 80s, they know between Sabbath school and divine service, what did we used to call that time? Sister Tabitha, we used to call it lay activity time. Does anybody remember that? Please, if you do, put your hand up. Because I don't want to be talking to myself. Exactly. It used to be called lay activity time. And we are saying, please, let's go back to the old time religion. Spend less time on announcements. Have more time on Sabbath between, divine, uh, between Sabbath school and divine. 15 to 20 minutes for prayer, for testimonies, and for evangelism. Can I hear an amen? amen? We come to church to be nourished. We come to church to encourage one another. We come to church because we want to pray for each other. And therefore, we want to go back to the old time religion. Lay activity time. 15 to 20 minutes. Please, this church, spend time for prayer, for testimony, and for evangelism. Every single Sabbath. You don't have to uh, actually use, uh, um, be able to do all the three every Sabbath, but prayer should be every Sabbath. So you can do prayer and evangelism one Sabbath. The following Sabbath you do prayer and evangelism. Remember, reminding you the sole purpose of our existence is to be able to share the word of God. Can I hear an amen? amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? So let us come to church on Sabbath and utilize the time best way possible to nourish, to encourage, and to pray for one another. My last one minute I have just picked something as the uh, transfers were being made. And I want to remind you members, church members, please, if you don't have your membership in this church, bring your membership in this church. Because you continue to identify, to worship in this church, yet you are not on record that you worship in this church. You'll end up having an arrangement like we call come we stay. You are not legally in this church. 
yet you stay in this church, yet the church cannot testify that actually they know you because you are not on record. And when you need the church, you will struggle to find the church to support you. Please, please don't have a come we stay arrangement because it is not a legal arrangement. It is not an arrangement you can use and refer to. Be able to bring your membership here and be able to be known you are a member here and the church will always stand with you and will be able to uh, acknowledge you as a member of this church. As I end, Pastor, I am so grateful. I'm glad uh, Pastor Mackenzie, who has been our pastor, is your pastor. He's one of the senior pastors we have in the conference. And when I mentioned to him I wanted to come here, he was so gracious to allow me to. May the good Lord bless you, Pastor. And I just want to pray for members. Learn and let us all worship God in truth and in faithfulness. The Lord is in his holy temple.